Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and today I want to showcase a checklist template where you can reuse a checklist for an app that could, for example, be used for property management or building inspection, where you need crew uh, or cleaners or inspectors to reuse checklists in order to follow very specific steps to complete tasks. For example, cleaning a property and making sure that they are thorough, which is very important to make sure that your business runs smoothly and that the work done by your business is always consistent. If you want to get a copy of this template, just go to grumo.com slash checklists. Now, let me show you how the app works inside the Glide editor. This app was made 100% using Glide without coding, which means once you get the template, you can both easily customize how the template looks and how it works as well. So let me pretend I'm logging as the administrator of this app and I have a set of properties and I want to be able to assign different properties to different cleaners and make sure that they follow a set of checklists in order to reset every of the properties and get it ready for the next guess. So obviously I have a set of properties here and I can click on any of the properties and you can see the checklist that have been assigned to each of the properties. And you can see this property has two bedrooms, a bedroom and a master bedroom, a living room, a bathroom and a kitchen. And if I click on any of the checklists, I can see exactly what it needs to be accomplished. Vacuum, dust, make beds, organize clutter, clean meters, etc. And I can always add a new task to any of the checklists, or I can add another checklist to a property. Now, if I need to create a new checklist, I can go to my checklist menu and I can see now there is four checklists for bedrooms, bathrooms, uh, living rooms and a and kitchen. And here are the tasks for each of those checklists. Now I have an assign tab where I can assign a new property to be reset uh, for a specific date. And I can select the date, the actual property and then the cleaner. And now that cleaner will see a new assignment. I can also manage all my cleaning crew here. And you can see I have uh, three cleaners and I can see the assignments for each of the cleaners. In this case, cleaner two has four assignments that are pending. And now this cleaner could log into the app and start following the checklist for each of the properties that have been assigned to him. So let's do that. Let's pretend that I'm going to log in as cleaner number two. And now I'm going to go to my assignments and you can see here, as soon as this user logs in into the app, they're going to see two tabs, one with the list of assignments and a second tab with a calendar showing all the different assignments. So I can just click on any of the assignments here, for example, the first one here, and I can see the progress. In this case, to reset this property, this cleaner has to complete 31 tasks and he could go to bedroom number one and then just make sure that everything is completed. And we have a status indicator showing whether the task has been completed or not. And also an overall indicator, which is yellow if the list has not been completed yet. Okay, so we go back, we can see now we have five of 31 tasks completed and we can go to bedroom number two and do the same thing. And you can see how the progress keeps going and the same thing until all the checklists are completed. Now the administrator can always monitor the progress of all the properties. So the administrator would log in and then they could select the user that they want to check up on. And in this case, that's the property that they were working on. And they can see that they've completed three bedrooms and they are at 48% on that property. The app is fully responsive. So we always can view it as in a desktop preview or a tablet preview. And then as the administrator, I can see all my properties here, assign cleaning tasks to my different cleaners, add and remove users, and also manage all the checklists. Now under settings, you can easily change the appearance of the app. You can upload a new icon, change the name of the app, uh, the appearance. You can switch it to dark mode if you want to, which looks really good now. And you can see here, you know, all the different 
screens on dark mode as well, or you can set it to auto so it detects your device's mode, whether it's dark or light. And then the content width, medium and small. And of course, there under settings, you can also set the privacy to decide who can access the app. Typically for an app like this, it would be private and you would only allow the users that are included in the user stable to be able to log in into the app. And then the final thing you would always do is to publish the app so you can share it and all the users could install this app into their device and start using it. And there you go, a very powerful checklist app that you can use for property management or building inspection where you can reuse checklists, assign properties to different users and have the ability to monitor the progress of all the different checklists. If you want to get a copy of this template, just go to grumo.com slash checklists. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.